Welcome to Inside Tennessee. Good Sunday morning to you. We're taping this on Wednesday evening. Want to be fully transparent about that because we're talking about action in Washington that seems to move every hour. Our guest is Representative Tim Burchett representing the good state of Tennessee and this district in East Tennessee. Our panel with us this morning, Susan Richardson Williams. She's a Republican. Don Bosch, she's a Democrat. Good to have everybody with us. Congressman, let's talk about the Jim Jordan vote. OK, as of tonight, you placed a vote for Jim Jordan yet again, and he lost. Why is he the best candidate for speaker in your mind right now? What qualities does he have that no one else does? Well, sometimes I look at who, um, you know, when I was in Nashville, they used to say, you don't vote for a bill, you vote for the person. And because you could tell who was shady and who wasn't. But, um, and Jim Jordan actually is, the, the grassroots love him. He's the most popular uh, person in, in grassroots politics in this country right now, I feel like. And also, um, the people that are against him is K Street, that is the lobbyist. The lobbyists are, are heavily against Jim Jordan um, because he wants to pass a budget, which is kind of crazy. We haven't passed a budget in 30 years. You know, we um, we go through this every few week, few months, basically, we pass a continued resolution and, and a continued resolution just continues the bad policies that have passed in the past. And the um, um, and then the big boys, the ones and big girls, the ones in charge of the committees decide kind of what goes in those things. And then that's why we're at this point, thirty three trillion dollars in debt. We added a trillion dollars in three months this year. So Jordan kind of stands against that. He stands against the um, the ongoing never ending wars and, and what we call in Washington the Uniparty. You supported. And, uh, you supported Steve Scalise before supporting Jim Jordan. Um, That's correct. If you had to, to vote for someone else right now, who would you choose besides Jim Jordan if it comes to that? Besides him or Steve Scalise? Yes. Oh, there's several people that are that are great. There's a guy named Kevin Hearn. America's going to fall in love with Kevin Hearn. He um, he grew up in a housing project. He um, ended up starting a job at McDonald's, ended up owning 22 of them, owns a bank, um, and he's a very, just very decent guy. My buddy Byron Donald's out of Florida. Um, he is, um, people pale in comparison to him. And uh, you just go down the list. There's so many other people. Mark Green from Tennessee is being considered. Roger Williams from Texas. Um, you just go down the list and they're just, we, we have a very deep bench. But the problem you have, of course, is the hierarchy. Um, and that's sort of the problem we have right now with Jim Jordan. The folks on appropriations committee don't like Jim Jordan because he wants to pass a budget. He wants every he wants individual spending bills and they don't like that. They like they like the pork. They like to spend it in their district and it gets them reelected. And um, and that's why K Street and the lobbyists don't like what we're doing now. Susan. Yeah, um, Tim, one of the things that has become obvious to a lot of us that call ourselves Republicans, is that this is not a good look for our party, that we can't right. get our act together, we can't elect a speaker. It, it, was, it was, I think it began with the McCarthy vote and 15 ballots, but we kind of got through that. Everything seemed to be going well, and now we're in chaos again. How do we, how do we fix that? How does we, we as a party get back together and prove we can govern well it's exactly what you said we got to get back to our roots of fiscal responsibility uh, we recently were as you know our country was downgraded our bond rating and um and that that and they say over a 20-year period and they gave two reasons one was leadership and the second was fiscal responsibility and that cuts both ways 20 years democrats and republicans and we just can't get out of, out of our own way on the spending. I think once we get that um, under, if we can get that under control, all this will look like a distant memory. It's just like nobody's talking about, nobody was talking about, heck, nobody's talking about January 6th, even nobody's talking about uh, Kevin McCarthy. You ask people on the street, um, what does September 11th mean to you? The vast majority won't even know what you're talking about. So. Um, I, I think people will move past this once we get a, a decisive leader in there, and I'm, I'm confident we have one. 
We've got to take a quick break on Inside Tennessee. We're going to be back with more of Congressman Burchett right after this short break.